It's not the bee's knees at all to have pain there where you bend your legs and it's important to not ignore it. Yeah, there are many things United Regional Sports Medicine physicians can do. And as we show you in tonight's Healthy You, it's care you're likely not to get anywhere else. If you are knee deep in knee pain. We know from studies that when you walk, you put about four times your body weight across your knee. You are not the only one. The nice thing about uh, being able to sit down with somebody one-on-one -on -one still in medicine is that you can design something just for them. From pediatric patients to student athletes and older people who have worn out joints, United Regional Orthopedic Surgeon Dr. Michael Sheen can make you comfortable again. The first thing we do is make a diagnosis. Then you know exactly what to do. If it's a strain or sprain, then again, it's just rest, let it heal itself. If it's an injury that occurs surgical intervention, then we talk about what surgery might um, help with that particular injury. Medicine has changed, and Dr. Sheen has been on the cusp of it all. Knee replacements, for example, for osteoarthritis 35 years ago would last two years. Now they last 30. Now you can do a lot of surgery through an arthroscope, and the scopes are even getting smaller. They're about the size of a needle. Before getting to a point of surgery, you may be wondering when to seek medical care in the first place. When they're concerned enough, certainly there are situations uh, they can't straighten out or bend the knees, something's blocking doing that. Uh, if they're having severe pain and can't put any weight on it at all, and if they suspect an injury that makes the knee feel unstable. United Regional has an advanced certification, which means certifying agencies have come and declared everything the hospital is doing with knee and hip surgeries is on the cutting edge of technology. In fact, the last reviewer we came through said, if I had to have my knee or hip done, I would have it done here, as well as any place like Mayo or anywhere else. There are some things you can do at home first, though. Think rice, rest, ice, compression, elevate. But the most important thing to avoiding injuries is knowing how to prevent them in the first place. If we can keep uh, particularly young athletes uh, strong and understand exactly how to use their bodies, how to protect themselves, for how, how to correctly tackle, for example. As we all age, then there are ways that you have to change what kind of activities you do. Some people I recommend they go away from high impact activities at all and switch to swimming, biking, you know, fast walking, you know, less traumatic. Simple adjustments to making sure you're not weak at the knees for good. Now, when Dr. Sheen first started working on knees, people were in the hospital recovering for 10 days. Now they're there just overnight. Very nice. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard, though, when you get older to change those activities that you're so used to. Lower impact, yeah, mm -hmm. that you're used to.